Hello my loves, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Jennifer Brown. So Jennifer Brown is, I believe, a 40 year old mother who went missing from Pennsylvania. Um, she was supposed to pick up her son, but I believe that she left her car at her residence and there were keys and a purse and stuff like that inside of her car and she never went to pick up her son and this was back in january 3rd so i wanted to channel her and before we get started psychic visions are not facts okay i only get little pieces of what happened and with each case is very different some cases are more easier to channel while others can be a little harder and my visions are symbolic or literal okay so everything that i say always remember that it can just be symbolic what i'm seeing for example i just did a reading on a woman named anna wash and she was showing me that she was in a swampy like area now it turned out that her body was actually in a town called swamp scott so that was spirit's way of showing me of telling me where she was located okay now with jennifer brown um for me when i channel it's easier for me to channel when I know little to nothing about the case. It just makes it easier for me to know that what I am receiving is from spirit and it's not something that I'm making up because I already know this information, right? So that's how I know that I am on the right track or I am accurate when I know little to nothing because trust me when you know too much it becomes too confusing and you start doubting everything that you see so i like knowing nothing so when i channeled jennifer and i channeled her yesterday okay this was yesterday okay so the first thing that jennifer makes me feel is she makes me feel like there is this male energy around her, okay? So I definitely feel male energy that is a very conflicting energy. There is some type of drama that's been going on with this male, okay? Um, she shows me a vision of her taking something out of her drawer, and she did it really quickly. Like the way that she showed me is like she opened and she took something out really fast. Like she was in a rush, in other words. Or maybe there was some sense of urgency, right? I don't know. But that's what they show me as far as a vision. So I also heard the words, I'm being threatened. Okay? So I do feel that when, when I heard that, I do feel that there is some sense of um, danger that she already felt, okay, prior to that day. Like, it's like she had this intuition of something wasn't right, but she wasn't really paying attention to those intuitions. She was just like, no, I don't think so. Like, no, it will never happen. Or no, I don't think this person will do something like that. Like, it's that type of feeling. It's like, I'm gonna be cautious. I know what I'm feeling, but I'm not gonna completely believe 100% in it. And I feel that she knew that she was being threatened or there was some type of harm that she, you know, was coming her way, but she didn't fully understand it and fully really listen to that intuition, which is why it's very important. If you have a gut feeling for someone, that can save your life, okay? Um, so I, when I looked at her picture, I looked at two pictures, the ones I posted on my community post. I got a little bit of her personality. So I got, I feel, I wrote, I feel, okay, don't mess with mama bear. And that's what I wrote. So if you guys, 
I'm over here. Um, I wrote everything down, okay, when I channel. And I wrote, don't mess with Mama Bear. So she is someone who I feel that is, first of all, she is a great mother. And she will defend herself and defend her children. I don't think she is the type of person that would just leave her children out of nowhere, right? I don't think that she would put them in any danger. She loves her children. She is a great mother, okay? And she will do whatever it takes to protect her children. And that's the personality that I picked up from her as I was looking at her picture. Now, okay, so I got that. She does show me altercation with the male so i think that there was some physical altercation that was i don't know if this was prior and this has been happening or this happened after she went missing right but this is what she's showing me as a vision i do see her actually like physically fighting another male and i try to act spirit give me a little bit more detail about this male show me a little bit more because i want to see who is this person that she is picking up on um and when i ask her who is this male that you're showing me i i don't understand she makes me feel this is someone she knows okay I I either like an ex um a love interest or an ex friend I, I don't I could be wrong but it doesn't feel like it's somebody that she is currently in a romantic relationship with it almost feels like she makes me feel like there is either some type of heartbreak or disappointment and she's healing so that's why I I'm going to assume I don't know but I'm going to assume that this is possibly an ex okay and she shows me a vision which i got a little clearer vision of who this was she shows me a vision of a male who is and i'm going to describe exactly what i see whether it's correct or wrong okay because that's just spare way of showing me something okay so i'm gonna say it just to Put it out there because maybe it can help or right so what she shows me is this male who is darker complexion and he is he's like leaning against his car outside almost it well to me it feels like it's almost like he's waiting for her to come out right so i don't know if this was prior i'm gonna assume this is probably prior to her maybe on that day right he could have been waiting for her waiting for her and this guy he seems his body type is a little bit um bigger um i don't he doesn't seem slim and thin um it feels like he i don't know if he works out he could work out maybe he works out or something but it feels more like he you know he's a little um He's a little bigger and he has short really short hair okay almost to the point where i don't know if he's bald <laughs> like that short okay either he's bald he's balding or he has really 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 short hair okay and that's what he show he shows me him wearing this like jacket that like it's pretty it's pretty long the jacket um it's a long jacket so i see him there and i almost see him like like this um he's like looking i know he doesn't have a watch maybe his cell phone but he's like looking at his cell phone which is like spirit letting me know that he's waiting for something um so this does feel premeditated it does feel like this was something planned possibly um because why is he waiting for her okay there is a reason and I don't feel like this is something good. There is there isn't good intentions behind this. I I do feel that this person feels 
like they are either involved or somewhat involved in what happened allegedly. Now, when I did get a vision of him, um, oh, and the car that he was be he was leaning on, it seemed like it was like um like a four door car. I'm not getting like a truck or um right. I'm not getting like a truck. I'm not getting. It just feels like a maybe a sedan or something smaller. Like it's just like a four door car, right? That's what she's that's what she's showing me, and then he's leaning against her, and she then shows me. And here's the thing: I don't get names. Like I, this is probably the first time that I have since I have been channeling since last year. I. Have, haven't gotten a direct name she actually gave me a direct name and I don't know how this name is associated I don't know if this person is who she is trying to tell me or maybe they know something or maybe they're associated with right and just remember this is all alleged um, everyone is innocent until proven guilty but what she shows me is somebody with the letter a okay and she gives me a specific name so i don't know if this is the exact name or if it sounds like it or it's part of a longer name right so like it could be like two names together or but she gives me a direct name with an a and it starts it the name is anthony okay it's a and then she says anthony very clear very direct I have never gotten a name this direct before, so this will be my first. So I'm going to say it because I don't know how it's associated with her or if it has anything to do. I mean, that name can be associated with anything. It can be a street name. It can be a town. I mean, who knows? It can be a business name that she could be next to, right? So she, t but she gives me a name and I'm going to say it. And she gives me that name that starts with the letter A, okay? And I wrote it down here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Anthony and then A, question mark. Okay, so after she shows me that, um, she tells me she was targeted, okay? Um, and then she shows me the same vision again of the man outside the car, okay? Um, so I know... Um, spirit is being very persistent with me and there's a reason why they're being persistent okay so she repeats that same vision then she makes me feel an actual physical sensation which this is something that's also new to me she makes me feel pressure in her chest okay very strong strong pressure like it hurt for me physically it actually hurt so it was a lot of pressure and she showed it to me well she made me feel that more than once as a matter of fact she made me feel three times i don't know if something happened three times around the chest area or that's just her way of keeping being persistent like something happened in the chest area something happened in the chest area okay i'm not going to assume anything because i don't know exactly i kind of have a feeling um, but at the end of the day, I always want to assume the best and I always hope that we can find the victims and bring them back home to their families, right? Uh, but she does feel me pressure in the chest, okay? And I do feel that she was injured, okay? Um, and like I said, okay, so at the time of doing this, I did not know anything about this case besides that she is in her 40s she's a mom and that she went missing on january 3rd that's pretty much all that i knew so i did wrote down that i felt like she was supposed to do something but she never did it so i put shopping i put either she was coming home i even put pick up picking up her child okay and then later on after a channel i realized that she was actually supposed to pick up her child but never did i when i did this channel i, I did not know so I did put pick up child. So I did pick that up from spirit. Um, and then as far as where she is at, I feel that 
she doesn't feel like she is super close to where she's at she showed me the number 15 so i don't know if that is an exit if that is a mile if that is 15 minutes if that is 15 hours if there is a highway that's 15 like she shows me the number 15 for a reason so I, I don't know how that is relevant but i feel that it's either 15 could be 15 miles right or 15 minutes away um i don't feel that she's super 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 close i mean i could be wrong right um but it doesn't feel like it. and she, okay so here's the thing she shows me a town name that has the name town i don't know how to explain it but it's like something town like the ending is town like the beginning is different but then it has town i don't know if she's in there near there or it's like you know a couple towns over because sometimes they do do that they show me a town and then they're like we're there or we're not there but we're near there right so it's something with the town whatever town that's the name of the town okay or the city or what, whatever um it is um i would have to channel more on location so i definitely would like to step back in there and see if i can pull more she wasn't so much direct with her location like anna for example was very direct where she was i'm not feeling so much with jennifer but she was very direct with who did this or she was either they who did this or who was associated with it that person she was very direct with that with me that she even gave me a name okay as far as location all i felt is that she was not super far like five hours away um but not super close like you know on in the same town or five minutes away it definitely feels more so either it's 15 miles 15 minutes um it could be a little bit more right it can be more than 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes like around that range um but it doesn't feel like it's super 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 far and the, okay so here's another thing she shows she uh, i okay so i forgot to mention she also shows me a vision of her okay so it makes me feel like this person didn't want to make it seem like she was in danger or didn't want to make it seem like um caused too much of a commotion okay so i think either he had a weapon or he told her something for her to voluntarily come with this person something was said to voluntarily come to this to to this vehicle or whatever this car or with this person because i don't think he took her i don't think he took her and then sneaked her in his car right like if he injured her in the house and then he like carried her to the car it doesn't feel like that it almost feels like he basically threatened her allegedly threatened her and was like okay you have to come with me or this is gonna happen or, or we need to take a ride real quick um don't worry about your stuff we're just gonna take a ride real quick we gotta talk we gotta sort something out right we gotta solve something um and she was like okay but she almost felt like she had no choice but to say okay like she felt like something was wrong like she had to or else something was gonna happen and so she went in that car or went with this person and then no, it hasn't come back right she hasn't been seen um so that is something that she, that i feel as well um but i'm going to work out more on her location I'm trying to see if i can pull more um, but as far as what I see is not too, too far, 
okay so i would say between 15 20 minutes okay or unless it's not minutes it's miles right so however that fits in um and then something town at the end something town so whatever name first and then town is the ending of that town um so that's what she's showing me as far as location for now if i do have any more information i will definitely make another video um if not i will post it on my community post or my facebook group or facebook page so make sure to be following me to stay updated with what i channel with jennifer brown all right guys that is all that i am seeing for today thank you for making it this far for watching this video i really appreciate it make sure to like share and subscribe and until next time